This is not appropriate. It's not family friendly. <laughs> welcome or welcome back if you're returning. My name is Burr, and if you are a fan of MMOs, uh, JRPGs, RPGs, obscure video games, art, or music, then you should subscribe because that is what we do here. Whew. I don't know why I did that that way, but I did. Um, also, like this video because that is super awesome. Hello, I'm back everyone. Sorry, I had a little detour. I know it's been a minute since we fought the white whales. That was the last thing we did in the storyline. Though we failed to secure the key, we must not forget that we succeeded in ridding the realm of another primal and prevented the Vanu Vanu's lands from being consumed in so doing. The Zunzu, at least, shall be glad of our deeds this day. Let us go and inform Chief Sonu of our victory. Sid and the others will need a moment to tend to the Enterprise, besides. Yeah, I got a little wrecked fighting that whale, eh? Riggedy wrecked. Wait, something is amiss. Imperial troops, and they have already secured the area. I was gonna say, who that, yo? Yeah, those big hordes, how could you not? Reveal yourselves at once! His name is Regular. <laughs> His regular of Anhydrus. He's just a little regular. And there I was, expecting more beastmen. Who are you? I thought his guardians responsible for the disappearance of our scouts, but I see now that I was mistaken. They all have such weird names. <laughs> I mean, uh, everybody in this game has weird names. But you know. Oh no. Just as Wire observed. The Warrior of Light is wont to appear at the most inopportune times. This beast! The Warrior of Light? She who bested Van Balesar? It would seem that the famous hero of Eosia seeks Aziz Lar as well. Hardly unexpected. The secrets of the Alagans' power to bind icons to their will could scarcely fail to interest the scions of the Seventh Dawn. You know as well as we what will ensue should these insatiable creatures be allowed to roam free. That their very existence threatens the life of this star. We but disagree on the solution to the problem. Genocide has ever been the Empire's favored recourse. And that is why we will continue to oppose your every attempt to claim Eorzea. You do not hesitate to speak your mind, even when your every word could be your last. Alas, your sentiments betray the narrowness of your view. The fate of Eorzea and its inhabitants is of little concern next to the fate of the world. Tis my solemn charge as Emperor to bring the icons to heal. If this requires the extermination of certain elements, then so be it. <laughs> Yep, still. No, don't! <gasps> they are not his thralls! Don't hurt the bird, man.
WTF? Where did that come from? <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> Take cover. Oh. Oh, it's white. That's so pretty. Your radiance. We must withdraw. Dial up. <laughs> oh no, I never thought I'd hear that sound again. Oh my gosh. No. That's terrifying. Honestly. We shall meet again, warrior of light. On that you have my word. That's scary looking. So Garlemald too has designs on Azisla. But why would the Emperor himself elect to lead the expedition? So many questions. All right, Alfie, what's our next move? Never in my wildest dreams did I think I would stand less than 20 paces from the Emperor of Garlemald, Varus Zoskalas, in the flesh. I assume the commander that accompanied him must be the legatus of whom the Centurion spoke. Ah, forgive me, this is neither the time or a place for such idle speculation. Okay, return to the Enterprise at once. It occurs to me that our friends may have run afoul of Imperial forces as well. I have yet to apprise Chief Sonu of all that has occurred, but once I have, we will rejoin you at the airship. I like her white one. It's so pretty. So regal. I promise. I come in peace. Ah! How rude! I thought I could talk to him before. I did not ask for this. Well, I wasn't going to kill you, but, you know. Decided to make things difficult. Take the 12 yard life bur. When the battleship appeared and fired on the village, we feared the game was up for you and Elphidon. But the seven hells happened out there. First, the Archbishop turns up with an Ascian in tow, and now the god's damned Emperor pays us a visit. What is this, a procession of notable bastards? <laughs> Who's next? The keeper of the seventh bloody gate? No one so notable, Master Garland. I am happy to report that the Zundu were overjoyed to learn of Bismarck's demise. Chief Sordu sends his warmest regards, but there is much talk of westerly winds. Not. Not. Miraculously, none suffered lasting harm during the raid. It would seem the Zundu were taken entirely unawares and wisely chose to offer no resistance. I sense they have no more to fear from the Empire, for the present at least. Had the Emperor truly been intent on their extermination, Okazundu would already have been leveled. Plainly, Varus is only interested in reaching Azizlau. Ah. Speaking of which, if you're all ready to continue the chase, the Enterprise is as well, shall we? Shall we? Oh, you get a little sick. Bibison. Oh, oh my goodness, so many things are happening. Got a trophy. If it pleases you. Fixed. 
Lest you wonder, Wedge was able to calculate the heading indicated by the beam of light emitted by the key. If a Zista lies in that direction, we'll find it. The Sole may have a lead on us, but she's no enterprise. We'll catch them, you see. You'll see. I did not think that I would ever have occasion to pilot a suit of Magitek armor again. Least of all under these circumstances. Oh my gosh! She's one of the- My full name is Lucia Go Junius, and I was born a citizen of Garlemald. Ah. Oh. That explains it. When we first met in Ishgard, I very nearly called you Livia. Livia? Livia Sasjunius? The tribunus who served under Gaius van Bailsar? Aye, she was my sister. Though we spent little time together. After our parents were killed in an uprising, we were sent to live in different households, setting us on separate paths. Man, what a small world. Livia felt oh at home gosh. on the battlefield and chose to become a soldier, while I underwent training to become a spy. Then, Ishgard was... My mission. It was believed that Alagan relics of great worth were stored in the vault, and I was sent to investigate. Though I was given little information at the time, I now suspect I was searching for the key we but recently lost. And then I met Sir Emmerich. And I was blinded by love. It was his usefulness to my mission which prompted me to approach him. But I soon found myself drawn to him for other reasons. He too was a prisoner of his past, judged for his heritage as a bastard son of the Archbishop. Yet unlike my sister and I, he did not curse his fate. He simply rose above it. Oh, that's to see. They have some common ground. In time, I came to realize that I had found <laughs> a man worth following, and a new home besides. And when I subsequently confessed all to Sir Emmerich, he was good enough to accept me into his service. Oh, that's so cute. I do not question your loyalty to Sir Emmerich. It is your loyalty to your sister which concerns me. Uh, hey. <laughs> I have long been of the opinion that those who dwell in the past risk losing sight of their future. I've heard that before. I agree. My sister fought for her convictions and for those she held dear. So do I. So must we all. Not. <laughs> well, I for one am happy to welcome a fellow Garlean to our merry band. Especially one who can make Magitek armor sing. Chief, we should be getting close. Once we break through those clouds, we'll be right where the light was pointing. Right where Azizla should be. Their voices are so funny, especially Wedge. Hold on, everyone! Away, right, here we go. It's getting intense. Going after the bishop, archbishop. Give me that key. <laughs> they are. Look, I think that's it. Place it to orange. Chief, is that Alagon? Aye. <sighs> There's no mistaking their handiwork. Oh, 
What was that? I think we crashed. Some sort of barrier. <laughs> they say, nope. You're not welcome. She won't hold, Chief. She's breaking up. I've lost the auxiliary propeller. Sid, it's no use. We must return to Ishgard and find another way. God damn it all! Why do the Alagans always have to make everything so bloody complicated? They do be tricky though, you know? The Holy Sea of Ishgard. Hello, Sid. Ack! And we barely finished repairing the damage occurred during our sky fishing trip. On the other hand, any landing you can walk away from, as they say. Hey! <laughs> that is a thing Sid says. He says that in uh, Final Fantasy VII. Rebirth. I can only presume the Soleil passed through the barrier unscathed. That I would that would certainly explain why the man who called it a key. Assuming Sid is correct, but I have no reason to think that he is not, the man whose key is required to pass through the barrier protecting Azisla. But even without it, we must find a way to reach the Isle. And I shall have everyone convened at the seat of the Lord Commander that we might discuss how best to proceed. As before, make yourself known to the Guardsman when you arrive and he will show you in. Yes, he says, well, come. Er, <laughs> he like splits it up. Okay. Yes. Okay. It's like, it's somewhere here. They didn't just... leave me. Sir... Sir Emmerich. In summary, the Isle owes its lofty position to the industry of the Alagards. And we can be all but certain that the Archbishop and his cronies... I see. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut him off. If we are to join them, we will first need to pass through the Isle's etheric barrier, which is, alas, more powerful than most. Powerful enough to make a mess of a perfectly good airship at any rate. As far as I can gather, the barrier mechanism draws ether from the surrounding environment and polarizes its elemental aspect to produce what is, in effect, a wall of lightning. It seems plain that without the Vanu's key, any attempt to reach the Isle will end in failure. Alas, the key was careless enough to leave without us, and I don't think the Vanu keep a spare. Master Garland, based on your experience, is there no other way that we might breach the barrier? Well, in the past, we've beaten similar barriers by nullifying them with elemental converters. But the one we're up against this time dwarfs aught we've encountered before. The Enterprise simply isn't large enough to bear the requisite amount of crystals. I am reminded of the quantity needed to nullify Leviathan's command of the sea. A veritable mountain of crystals that could only be borne by lashing two galleons together to form a twin vessel, scarcely able to propel itself, much less fly. Oh yeah, we did the thing. We did that. That said, we're not without options. If it isn't feasible to nullify the barrier, we might try piercing it. How? We create a ram of condensed ether and mount it on my ship. There's just one problem. I don't have the faintest idea how to build one. It's going to take a true authority in the field, I reckon. Would that the Archons were still with us. But yesterday evening, I chanced to find Mistress Tataru in unusually high spirits. Assuming I understood her excited ramblings correctly, she has acquired a clue, pointing to the whereabouts of one such individual. An Archon? Truly? Tataru knows what's up. She's got all the connections. <laughs> ha! Fortune favors the righteous, eh? Well then, let's not waste any time. 
While you go and look for our missing friend, I'll work on modifying the Enterprise. Her hull will need reinforcing to bear the punishment, not to mention a mount for the ramp. Just you wait, my pretty. By the time I'm finished, you'll be an airship reborn. Is that some kind of pun or throwback? <laughs> an airship reborn. Welcome back for How Goes the Mission. Did you manage to catch up with the Archbishop and his cronies? Oh, I love her little coat. She looks so cute. So you finally arrived at Azizla, only to find your way barred by some sort of barrier. Typical. But it's not all bad news. I've made progress in the search for our friends. Don't worry, Burr. We'll get to Azizla yet. When you fled the victory feast, you used the ancient water course beneath the city, right? Well, shortly after things went back to normal in Ulda, I asked Marshal Tarupin to have the tunnels searched. A logical place to look. It was there that you lost contact with Minfilia, Thancred, and Ishtola, was it not? Dare I ask what the Marshal found? <laughs> She's so cute. Um, I don't actually know. Pippin's message just said that there had been a, dis a discovery, and that we were to come to the Hall of Flames at our earliest convenience. I dare not think what it might be. We shall depart at once. Tataru, let Uriel J know to join us in Ulda. He will wish to be present as well. Yes, sir. Uh, she's so hopeful. Bless her heart. Bless her little heart. <laughs> I'm just gonna tell you that anyway. Look at this cat. Cat me. Hello, Pippin. 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 We are grateful for your assistance, Marshal Tarpin. You saved her grace and father both. Tis the least I can do to repay you. Forgive me my impatience, Marshal, but your missive mentioned a discovery? Yes, of course. As per your request, I had my men scour the waterways. Almost immediately, we encountered a difficulty. An entire section of the tunnel had collapsed. With the mineral concerns uh, cooperation, however, we were able to remove the rubble, which yielded the battered bodies of a dozen crystal braves. Oh, that's so sad. Go on. Be at ease, Master Alphanor. Your friends were not among the deceased. That alone is cause for hope. And then there is this. <gasps> hey, we know that tree branch. <laughs> Your is wand. <laughs> I had assumed this much. If I may, Marshal. Tis as I did surmise, judging by the etheric imprint that lingereth yet upon thy, this wand, it hath assuredly been employed in the casting of a most uncommon magic. Namely, the very first that men did conceive to traverse great distances, and the ancient precursor to all methods of travel that utilized the life stream. Flow. Flow magic. It's like your yoga. <laughs> Get a good flow going. The spell entaileth the reduction of the corporeal form into its constituent ether that the caster might enter the life stream and rides its currents thereby. Unlike the teleportation magics of modern times, it requireth not a lengthy incantation. That Istola should choose to employ such a spell bespeaketh the need for haste. All of which would suggest she managed to escape. 
would that it were so simple, know that the scholars of Charlayan forbade the use of this spell, though with good reason. The caster hath but limited control over his course, for every mage who came safe unto his destination, another would be set adrift in the life stream, never to emerge. <gasps> How? Hold on, bro. How? <laughs> what? No, no, you can't mean. Be not downcast, my friends, for there is yet hope. Tis like that Estrola's passage hath left traces in the life stream. Could we but follow these from the point at which the magic was invoked, we may yet find her. To the sealed excavation site, then. Ah, oh, thanks for your aid, Marshal. Do not mention it. I shall pray for Lady Estrola's safe return. At least one of our friends possibly made it. Evidence of Estola's passage will have been made faint by time, but mayhap some few scant traces yet remain to guide our steps. It's delicious. It sounds like a camera powering up. That's what it sounds like. I was like, what is that? Sounds like like, what are those digital, or not digital, the Kodak disposable cameras? Gosh. <laughs> I do, I do wild things for barbecue sauce. Uh, the trail leadeth to the north and east, unto the bosom of the Twelves Wood. Their whole bosom. Are you certain? Aye, there's no mistake. Thither hath Estola journeyed. Thither, thither. And yet the Cardanians have reported no sightings. We must take this to mean she is still adrift. She's just a uh, drifting gypsy of a woman at the moment. If it be so, I do fear for your, our friend. Contrary to its name, the life stream is more akin to a raging torrent. Linger over long in the midst of this maelstrom, and the ether that formeth one's soul shall surely be scattered, there to be reformed. That sounds awful. We have no time to waste. Hurry, Alge. Pray explore all possible options for reversing the effects of this forbidden magic. Burr. Tataru, we three shall press on to Gridania and petition the Elder Seed Seer's aid. Well, she might help us. I was like, who's that again? Oh, yeah. No, she might. She might. We, we brought her to see the Moogles, you know. It is said that the Elementals perceive the live stream. If, as we suspect, Estrella is still adrift in its midst, they may be able to find her. But if we are to appeal to them for assistance, we must needs do so through their chosen, the Pajal. It is imperative, therefore, that we speak with Khan Isida without delay. I have already requested an audience with the Elder Sitsia. She will receive us in the Lotus Stud presently. We need but speak with the Conjurer yonder to be admitted. My dogs are a little goofy today because I went out for a few hours. I went to see Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, uh, the musical. And, uh, so I think they're just all, like, discombobulated. They don't like when I leave them. They're pretty spoiled. So. Be welcome, my friends, and speak freely. I gather your suit will admit no delay. It will not, my lady. Pray forgive the abrupt nature of our request, but it is a matter of life and death. I see. As you say, we must needs act swiftly if we are to free Estola from the urgent, ungentle pool of the life stream. And as you surmised, we cannot do this unaided. However... Dogs are the best. Even when they're buggy me when I'm streaming. 
In requesting the Elemental's assistance to find your Stola, you must needs be aware of one difficulty. A difficulty born of the fundamental difference between man and Elemental. That being... In perceiving the world around him, man relies upon senses such as sight and sound. For the sake of convenience, he gives names to such things as are near or dear to him. Being formed of pure ether, however, such concepts are foreign to the elementals. Instead, they perceive by observing the ebb and flow of the energies of life. So profound a division cannot be bridged with simple discourse. The elementals' voices stir not the air, and thus reach not our ears, while our words are but wind to them. Though we seers can commune with them through feelings, naught that we can in part will serve to aid them in identifying Yushtola. Nay, they must needs be presented with ether which is akin to hers. If you could but find a family member. Oh jeez, who is related to Ishtola? Have we met anyone? I think we have. Oh! I know just the person! <laughs> oh great, she already knows. Perfect. Ishtola has a sister <laughs> who came to live in Gridania. She told me about her once. Oh, that is most fortunate indeed. Pray, seek this sister out then, and bring her to Evershade. There, we shall petition the Great One's aid in finding your lost companion. I just can't not see her necklace shaped like an upside down unicorn. Memory says, you stole the sister named Evitra. Oh, you know her, do you? I do know her. I didn't realize that was her sister. The summoner quest. Well then, that ought to make things easier. Anyway, she spends most of her time around Afkalu Falls, from what I recall. Let's look for her there. Let us go. Well, now that they told me they're siblings, I can definitely see the resemblance. Did not realize before, though. Greetings, Burr. What brings you here today? I see that you have companions. Lady Amitra, it is an honor to meet you. My name is Alphano Lavillior, and this is Tataru Taru. Tatura Taru Taru. So you are my sister's comrades in the science of the Seventh Dawn. When I heard that your people were being pursued, perused, pursued, I desperately sought to reach, her, reach Shola, but all my efforts were to no avail. Now I know why. A forbidden spell of all things. That should that she should be so reckless. But what's done is done. I thank you for bringing word to me. Needless to say, I should be glad to help. Though we were born of different mothers, our veins course with the same father's blood. I hope that this will be enough for the elementals. Come, let us make forever shade at once. Oh man, so their father was a ladies' man? Is that what you're telling me? Their daddy got around, I suppose. Nice. These children. Let us begin. Raya O, Arun, if you would. How can that child see? Or does he not have eyes? Oh. 
Hearken to me, O oh great ones. Pray give yourselves to the life stream, a drifting soul to find. So funny that way. Please, you stole her. Please come back to us. Everybody, fingers crossed. <laughs> there. There. Now! <laughs> Is it her? Is she naked? Oops. This is not appropriate. It's not family friendly. <laughs> How embarrassing, all those people there. Aww. Oh, well that was nice of him. I'm glad that they found her, at least. I believe it. <laughs> oh no. The room has been readied at the roost. Pray, bear her thither at once. She's so little compared to that giant of a man. All that remains is to pray, my friends. Oh, Estola, to see her face again, it's... Oh, I've been so worried. <laughs> Estola is resting within an in room, though she's still unconscious, the signs are positive. The conjurers say she's in sound health and should awaken people along. Isn't that wonderful? Now, while we wait for Estola to wake up, I thought I'd take the opportunity to finish my little surprise for her. It's something I've been working on for a while now, in the hopes that she'd one day return to us. It's worth just a couple more items before it's ready. I've already placed orders for these items. Could I ask you to retrieve them for me? One is with the Leather Workers Guild and another is with the Conjurer's Guild. Speak with Mistress Geva and Brother Isumiyan and they ought to take care of you. Ah, she. Here you go again. Always. Gotta always just run and collect things. Okay, Leather Workers Guild and Conjurer's Guild. I like their uh, jacket. What is it? I'm a busy woman, to so be quick about it. If you wish to place an order, speak with Randall. Who? Here to retrieve an order for Mrs. Tataru, you say? You come at a good time. I finished it but moments ago. It was no so small coup working it to her specifications, but I did it nonetheless. Payment has already been settled. However did that girl come by chimerical hide anyway? 
You need either balls of steel or a bottomless coin purse, and it seemed to me she had neither. Little old bitty. I love that they just are sitting on the floor. You'll come to Stilgalade Fane, the home of the Conjurers Guild. How may I assist you? <laughs> ah, yes. Mistress, Mistress Tartarus' order, as requested, it has been sanctified in the sight of the elementals. I know not what she intends for the staff, but it is a most singular artifact. Even one possessed of my experience would struggle to wield it. Hello. Is she awake yet? Oh, you're back. You have the items, I hope. Oh, it's precisely as I requested. A perfect match for the other pieces. Truly, Giva is a master among masters. And the staff completes the surprise. Thank you so much for... Teehee! I can't wait to see what Estrella thinks of the surprise. Lest you wonder, she's doing very well, and the conjurers have left her in her sister's care. Let's go and pay them a visit, shall we? She can fill us in on the live stream. I hope she doesn't have amnesia. <laughs> you stole her! I'm so glad you're back! Tataru. <laughs> <laughs> you are safe. Thank the Twelve. Something has changed about you, Elphino. Or mayhap the change is with me. I seem to sense the ether around me more keenly than before. Uh, it's his coat. It's a new coat. So, yeah. I am pleased to see you well again. Do you feel strong enough to talk? Worry not. I am well enough. Tell us then, what befell you after you fled the feast? We were told that there had been a tunnel collapse. That was my doing. I brought the tunnel down that you and Minfidia might escape. At the last moment, I invoked a teleportation magic, in hopes of spiriting Thancred away at least. Needless to say, it did not go quite as planned, and I found myself adrift in the life stream. Silly Estola. The others? Where are they? Did they not escape? They remain unaccounted for. You were the only one we have been able to find. I am truly sorry. It was the Crystal Braves who pursued you that day. My hubris that led to our undoing. No apologies are necessary, Alpha No. You are not to blame for what occurred. Know that were our comrades here, they would commend you for keeping the light of hope alive. Don't... don't worry. The others are alive and well, I'm sure of it. We just need to find them. Indeed, Tataru. Let us find our friends and rebuild the Scions. Ha! There is the Alphano I remember. And I feel much the better for his return. Tis time I arose. That reminds me! I have a change of clothes for you! I don't like to boast, but I made them myself. I learned how to weave while we're in Ishgard, you see? Where's my clothes, Tataru? Huh? His <laughs> face. It's like, get out of here! She needs to get changed! <laughs> Elfie. Well, those are fancy clothes. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's very cool. I like her outfit, though. Tataru has apprised me of all that took place in the aftermath of the assassination plot. It would seem I have been away for some while. Yes, much and more happened during your absence. At present, we seek to follow the Archbishop to Azisla. And you want for some manner of etheric ram to pierce the floating isle's protective barrier? We do. Might you be able to furnish us with one? A means to prise open a hole in an Alagarn barrier. And one large enough to admit an airship, no less. Hmm. Nay, I lack the knowledge to devise such a weapon. But I know of one who could. Oh, sister? A leading figure in the field of etheric research and one of the finest scholars ever to grace Charlian, Matoya, my former master. <gasps> Another person? I really thought she'd be like, my sister actually could do that. Yes. Onward to Charlian. Charlian. In my youth, I had the honor of studying under Matoya. In the field of etheric research, she was a, without rival. I have no doubt that her knowledge would be of aid to our cause. The question is, will she share it with us? My master has ever been willful. The gods forbid anyone disagrees with her. <laughs> when the Guardian Empire first marched upon Eorzea some fifteen years ago, the denizens of Charlayan were summoned back to the motherland. However, Matoya refused to join the exodus. To this day, she lives a hermit's life on the fringes of the abandoned city. So it is to the Dravidians' hinterlands that we must go, to the place of my birth. <gasps> oh. Though Alasale and I were born in Charleian, our days there were short. We remained only until the exodus, and I have not returned since. <laughs> it's truly... I'm, I'm sensing a... a pattern. Oh. So it's to be a homecoming then, as fine a season, as fine a reason as any to go to Charlie, and it would afford us the opportunity to pay my master a visit. <laughs> I believe you have mistaken our primary objective, Istola. At any rate, the journey will take us through <laughs> largely unknown territory. Let us first return to Ishgard and make our preparations. Glow of her eyes. Her face looks a little spooky there. Not gonna lie. Don't. Charlayan is situated in the Dravidian hinterlands. Find a good angle here. This person is <laughs> just chilling. To get there, we must strike west and traverse the breadth of the Dravidian forelands. Make no mistake, it will be a grueling journey. The party shall be comprised of Burr, Stola, and myself. Tatarup, for they remain at Ishgard and continue the search for our missing friends. Yes, sir. First, let us make for tail feather. Jokobo Forest. A long soak in the live stream, followed by a long journey. I would not recommend it to anyone. But rest assured, my strength is returning to me. I shall be back to my former self ere long. I believe I am sufficiently rested. Let us continue west to Charlene. Once we descend the mountain path, we will arrive at the Dravidian hinterlands. From there, it is but a short distance to the city. Be warned that we shall be passing through Nath territory. We must needs be wary of them, and the dragons bold. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. If you liked this video, please like this video because that'll help gather more folks to the video with the channel. We are aiming for 1k, so we're almost there. Also, if you are new and you haven't yet, please subscribe. 
we have a Discord link that is very, very fun. That link will be in the description underneath this video. And I also have all my other social media links and stuff that will be under there as well. And also, I do have a Patreon if you're interested. That link is below and that does help <laughs> get us uh, to support the channel so I can be here and do more stuff with you guys. All right, from uh, all of us to all of you, <laughs> bye.